Hello and welcome back everyone. This is Rupinder Pal Singh and in this video I'm going to show you how to create different spline objects and how to apply different modifiers on different geometry and other objects. So first of all to create a spline you have to go to creation panel then select shapes and from this list you have to click splines if it's not selected then it'll show you the list of different spline objects that you can create in 3ds max for rectangle simply click rectangle then on viewport click and drag to create a rectangle similarly for circle but uh, some objects may me add uh, one more step to it for example if you're making a donut then you click and drag to create the outer circle when you uh, release the click it will go to the parameter of inner circle or outer circle so uh, when you're satisfied with the shape just click so it will create a spline for a donut. Now I'm going to show you how to apply different modifiers on whatever object that you want. So for that you have to go to select object, select the object that you want to modify, then go to modifier panel. Here you can see there's a modifier list in this list there are different modifiers that you can apply to an object for now I'm going to show you how to uh, okay twist an object for that click on twist or you can also search here if you know what modifier you want to apply to the object so select twist then in the parameter uh, box you can click and drag to change the angle of the twist and from here you can also change the uh, axis of uh, I mean the axis of the twist so if you click X the twist will occur on the X axis similarly Y then Z the twist is occurring along the Z axis so you can also apply multiple uh, modifiers to a single object for example let me show you one more modifier mm, yeah, I can apply table so similarly similar to I mean similar to twist you can also adjust the amount of taper to the object and x-axis y-axis You can select different axes according to your requirement. Um, and for spline objects, if you want to create an object with your, I mean, 3D object with your spline, click on it, select it, and then go to modify panel. Just with the slider, and there you go. Create a 3D object with the spline. 
uh, one more thing in lines you can uh, find line and when you're creating a line if you click and release then drag around the screen it will create a line click again so you have created a line but if you click and drag along the screen it will create a curve line click and drag curve so after that if you go and release your button or click on the starting point it will show you this dialog box click yes if you want to make an object with the spline click no if it's just going to be a spline i'm going to click yes so it automatically converted this spline into an object so that means i can apply That's it for today's video, thank you.